Did the space race really change the course of history? Or did it merely accelerate our journey to the stars? It's a question that invites us to delve into a time when two superpowers vied for dominance not on the battlefield, but in the vast expanse of space. Our story begins in the mid-20th century, amidst the tense atmosphere of the Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union, two nations with drastically different ideologies, found themselves locked in a battle of wits and wills. But this battle was not fought with weapons. Instead, it was a race for technological supremacy, for the ability to reach beyond our planet and into the cosmos. The first shock came in October 1957, when the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite. This small, beeping sphere, no larger than a beach ball, was a powerful symbol of the Soviet Union's technological prowess. It circled the Earth, visible to all, a stark reminder of the Soviets' leap ahead in the space race. Sputnik's launch sent ripples of surprise and alarm across the globe, particularly in the United States. It was a wake-up call, a stark reminder that they were not the uncontested leaders in science and technology. The feeling of vulnerability was palpable. The skies were no longer solely the domain of the United States. The Soviet Union was there too, watching from above. This single event set the stage for a fierce competition. It fueled a sense of urgency, a desperate need to catch up and surpass. The United States, spurred by the shock of Sputnik, began to pour resources into their own space program. The goal was clear, to reclaim the skies and prove their own technological superiority. The gauntlet had been thrown, and the race to space had begun. This would mark the dawn of the space age, a time of great achievements, tense competition, and the realization of dreams that once seemed impossible. As we delve deeper into this era, we'll see how this race not only shaped the course of history, but also forever changed our relationship with the cosmos. Who was the first person to gaze upon the Earth from the vast emptiness of space? The answer lies in the heart of the Cold War, the year 1961. This was when the world stood still to witness a marvel of human achievement, the first human in space. His name was Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut. Gagarin was a man of humble beginnings, born to a family of peasant farmers. Yet, he would go on to become a symbol of Soviet prowess and a hero to millions around the globe. His journey into space aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft was a daring feat that marked a significant victory for the Soviet Union in the space race. Gagarin's flight lasted just one hour and 48 minutes, but its impact reverberated across the world. He orbited the Earth once, traveling at a speed of 27,000 kilometers per hour. As he gazed down at our planet from the vastness of space, he reportedly said, The Earth is blue. How wonderful. It is amazing. His words captured the awe and wonder that defined this new frontier of exploration. Gagarin's voyage into space was a triumph not just for the Soviet Union, but for humanity as a whole. It demonstrated that the bounds of our world could be pushed, that the cosmos was within our reach. Yet, it also stoked the fires of competition. The United States, already lagging behind in the space race, felt a renewed sense of urgency to catch up. The world celebrated Gagarin's return to Earth, and he became an international sensation. Parades, speeches, awards. Gagarin was lauded as a hero, the first man to have ventured into the final frontier. His achievement was a beacon of human potential, a testament to our capacity to explore, to dream, and to dare. And so, as Gagarin orbited the Earth, a new era of competition was set into motion. His historic journey marked not just the first human flight into space, but the beginning of a race to the moon that would define a generation. As Gagarin orbited the Earth, a new era of competition was set into motion. How did America respond to the Soviet Union's early victories? It's a question that hovers like a spacecraft waiting for its launch command. The answer lies in the formation of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, as we know it today. Born in the summer of 1958, NASA was America's answer to the Soviet Union's space supremacy. It was a clear statement of intent, a gauntlet thrown down in the cosmic arena. But the United States didn't just stop at creating a dedicated space agency. They set a goal that was as ambitious as it was audacious. President John F. Kennedy, in a speech to Congress in 1961, 
declared that the nation would put a man on the moon by the end of the decade. The challenge was massive, but the resolve was unwavering. To achieve this grand objective, America needed to first conquer some stepping stones, enter the Mercury and Gemini programs. The Mercury program, initiated in 1959, was America's first human spaceflight program. It was instrumental in understanding the effects of space travel on the human body and proving that humans could function effectively in space. Next came the Gemini program. Running from 1961 to 1966, it built upon the foundations laid by Mercury. The Gemini program focused on perfecting the necessary techniques for a moon landing, such as rendezvous and docking maneuvers and long duration space flights. It was like a dress rehearsal for the main event, fine tuning the skills needed for the final act. Each mission, each astronaut, each triumph, and even each setback, all played their part in steering America towards its lunar dream. The nation was not just responding to the Soviet Union's early victories, it was setting its sights on a prize that would etch its name in the annals of cosmic history. The stage was set for one of the most daring feats in human history. What challenges did the United States face on its journey to the moon? Ah, the road to the moon was a path laden with both triumphs and tragedies. The United States lunar ambition was embodied in the Apollo program, a series of missions that pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible. The Apollo program was a bold response to the Soviet Union's early victories in the space race. It was a statement of intent, a declaration that the United States was willing to dare, to dream, and to explore the unknown realms of space. But this daring dream was not without its costs. The Apollo program was marred by the tragic Apollo 1 fire in January of 1967, which claimed the lives of three astronauts during a ground test. It was a harsh reminder of the risks involved in space exploration, and it cast a shadow over the program. But rather than retreating in the face of adversity, the United States forged ahead, driven by the relentless spirit of exploration. The subsequent Apollo missions proved to be a series of triumphs. Each mission brought new discoveries, new achievements, and brought humanity closer to the moon. The Apollo 8 mission, for instance, was the first to orbit the moon, capturing stunning images of our celestial neighbor and offering a tantalizing glimpse of the goal that lay ahead. And then, in July of 1969, the Apollo 11 mission made history. Astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to set foot on the moon, with Michael Collins orbiting above. The world watched in awe as Armstrong declared, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was a moment that echoed around the globe, a testament to human ingenuity, bravery, and the spirit of exploration. With the successful landing of Apollo 11, America had seemingly won the space race. But the race to the moon was more than a competition. It was a shared human endeavor, a testament to our collective desire to reach beyond our world and explore the cosmos. What legacy did the space race leave behind? The space race, a riveting chapter in our history, was not merely a contest of technological prowess between two superpowers. It sparked a revolution in innovation that continues to resonate today. The race to space spurred advancements in technology that have permeated all aspects of our lives. From satellite technology that powers our global communication systems to medical innovations like MRI scanners and insulin pumps, the space race has left an indelible imprint on our world. In the wake of this fierce competition, a surprising shift occurred. The rivalry gave way to cooperation. Today, space exploration is a collaborative global effort. The International Space Station, a symbol of unity in space, is a joint venture involving 15 nations, including the United States and Russia. Astronauts and cosmonauts live and work together in this orbiting laboratory, conducting research that benefits all of humanity. The legacy of the space race has fostered an environment where collaboration overshadows competition and shared goals unite nations. In recent years, the moon has once again captured our collective imagination. Nations around the globe are planning lunar missions, with an emphasis on sustainable exploration. The moon is seen as a stepping stone, a testing ground for the technologies and strategies we'll need to explore more distant destinations. 
and Mars, the red planet, stands as the next great frontier. The space race ignited a passion for exploration that continues to push us further. We've sent robotic explorers to Mars, revealing a world of stark beauty and tantalizing hints of water. Scientists and engineers are working tirelessly to make human Mars missions a reality. The spirit of the space race lives on in these bold endeavors. The space race propelled us into a new era of discovery, and its impact continues to resonate today. From technological revolution to international cooperation, from the moon to Mars, the legacy of the space race is a testament to the power of human curiosity, ambition, and ingenuity. It reminds us that when we reach for the stars, there's no limit to what we can achieve. So, did the space race really change the course of history? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on the vast implications of this monumental era of exploration. The space race, a fierce competition between two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, ignited a spark that led to a series of technological advancements, international collaboration, and a new generation of explorers. Let's start by considering the technological leaps the space race propelled humanity into an era of rapid technological growth. From the launch of Sputnik, the world's first artificial satellite, to the awe-inspiring Apollo 11 mission that put the first humans on the moon, the advancements made during this period were nothing short of revolutionary. These breakthroughs not only transformed our understanding of the cosmos, but also paved the way for technologies we use in our everyday lives, like GPS and satellite telecommunications. Moreover, the space race was a catalyst for international collaboration. As the competition heated up, nations realized the value of pooling resources and knowledge. This led to the formation of international space agencies and joint ventures, like the International Space Station, a symbol of global cooperation. Perhaps the most profound impact of the space race was its ability to inspire. It nurtured a generation of explorers, dreamers, and innovators. Children who watched the moon landing dreamt of becoming astronauts, scientists and engineers, leading to a surge of interest in STEM fields. The stories of the men and women who dared to venture into the unknown continue to inspire us to push the boundaries of what is possible. So yes, the space race did indeed change the course of history. It shaped our world in ways that are still being felt today and will continue to influence our future. As we look to the stars, we are reminded of the courage, determination, and spirit of competition that brought us this far. The space race may be over, but the journey continues. Before we close, let's take this journey one step further. While we've delved into the history and legacy of the space race, the truth is, the exploration of space is far from over. There's so much more to learn, so many more discoveries to be made. And you, our viewers, are a part of this journey. Each one of you in your own way can contribute to the exploration of the cosmos. Maybe you're a budding scientist, engineer, or astronaut. Or perhaps you're a teacher inspiring the next generation of explorers. Or maybe you're a space enthusiast, always eager to learn more about our universe. Whichever you are, your curiosity, your passion, your interest, it all matters. It's what keeps us looking up, pushing boundaries, and exploring the unknown. So if you've learned something new from this video, if you felt a spark of curiosity or a surge of excitement, then we've achieved our goal. And we'd love to hear from you. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and share your thoughts in the comments. What did you find most fascinating? What would you like to learn more about? And don't forget to subscribe for more content that takes you to the stars and beyond. Share this journey with your friends and family because after all, we're all explorers journeying together in this grand adventure we call space exploration. Until next time, keep looking up. The universe awaits.